Imagine a place so vast, so rich in life, that every step you take introduces you to a new species. Welcome to the Amazon rainforest, Earth's most powerful natural wonder and the lungs of our planet. The Amazon rainforest stretches across nine countries, covering more than 5.5 million square kilometers. That's larger than the entire European Union. But here's the wild part. Nearly 10% of all known species on Earth live here. From the skies above to the forest floor, the Amazon is pulsing with life. It's a massive ecosystem that breathes, feeds, and supports millions. Not just animals, but people too. Every single minute, the Amazon loses a chunk of forest equal to three football fields. And with it, we may be losing secrets we'll never get back. Biodiversity in the Amazon isn't just impressive, it's mind-blowing. 40,000 plus plant species, 2.5 million insect species, 2,200 fish species, 1,300 birds, 430 plus mammals, over 1,000 amphibians and reptiles. Each tree might host up to 400 species of insects, and some of them still don't even have names. Take the poison dart frog, tiny, colorful, and lethal. Indigenous tribes use their toxins on blow darts for hunting. Or the sloth, nature's slow motion comedian who spends nearly its entire life hanging from trees. And high above the canopy, the harpy eagle, with talons as big as a bear's claws, rules the skies like a feathered warrior. Here's a question. What if the cure for cancer or Alzheimer's is hidden somewhere deep within the jungle? Over 25% of modern medicines come from rainforest plants. And yet, scientists have studied less than 1% of Amazonian plant species for their medicinal value. Let that sink in. Plants like the cinchona tree, which gave us quinine to treat malaria, and the rosy periwinkle, used in leukemia treatment, come from rainforests like the Amazon. Every tree cut down could be a potential cure lost forever. Beyond animals and plants, the Amazon is also home to over 400 indigenous tribes. Some have had no contact with the outside world, living in complete harmony with nature for thousands of years. Their knowledge of the forest is unmatched. To them, the jungle isn't wild, it's a library, a supermarket, a hospital, and a place of worship. But their homes are disappearing fast, and so is their ancient wisdom. You might be thinking, I don't live in Brazil. Why should I care? Here's why. The Amazon generates 20% of the world's oxygen. It holds 20% of the world's fresh water. It absorbs billions of tons of CO2, fighting climate change. It influences weather patterns across the entire globe. If the Amazon collapses, we all pay the price. Droughts, food shortages, climate instability. Protecting the Amazon isn't just about saving trees, it's about saving ourselves. The Amazon is in danger, and not from natural causes, from us. Deforestation. Trees are cleared for cattle ranching, soy farming, and illegal logging. Mining and oil drilling poison rivers and disrupt ecosystems. Infrastructure projects cut deep scars across the forest. Climate change weakens the rainforest's ability to recover. In the last 50 years, nearly 20% of the forest has vanished. Scientists warn that if it reaches 25%, we may hit a point of no return triggering a dieback that could turn the lush Amazon into a dry savanna. But it's not all doom and gloom. From satellites monitoring illegal logging to indigenous patrols defending their land, heroes are rising to protect the Amazon. Global movements are pushing for stronger environmental policies. Companies are being pressured to eliminate rainforest destruction from their supply chains. Even you, sitting on your phone or laptop, can make a difference. Here's how you can help. Support rainforest charities. Organizations like Rainforest Alliance, Amazon Watch, and WWF are doing real work. 
vote for the planet, support leaders and policies that protect the environment. Every action counts. One small change, multiplied by millions, can save this ancient paradise. If you care about this planet, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with someone who needs to hear this. Let's use our voice to protect the voice of nature before it's silenced forever.